Hey! Sorry, it's a little early in the morning, so the lighting's terrible right now, but today I'm going to be doing a workout that I've started doing recently, as in twice, this will be the third time. And it's stuff that I don't normally like, but for some reason, it's been like a good workout for me. It includes walking, jogging, and using some equipment in my gym, which I'm not an equipment person. I'm normally a all body weight workout person, and I don't like running. But <laughs> running in moderation is actually kind of fun. So let's get to it. I'll start by showing you the outfit I'm wearing today. I really love to wear Old Navy activewear. It's just my favorite activewear. It stays like up, the pants stay up, and it's got some nice tank tops, which are good for me because I sweat a lot, so I can't wear t-shirts. And these shoes are by Rika. I'm just wearing red socks because that's what I wore yesterday and I don't want to get any fresh socks dirty. I really like the... I can't see it very well. Got some of the mesh type detailing. Still don't think you can see it, but it's fun. And there's, I love the flower pants. Can you see the mesh detailing yet? Ta-da. <laughs> Also, I forgot to show you the back. I really love the back of this. So now I am starting with some stretching and while well, I'm still in my dorm. Do some half moons. And this is hands behind your back, legs apart, shoulder rolls, arms across, thigh stretches. You can't really see too well. This is calf muscle stretching and lunges. Now I'm actually getting onto a treadmill in the gym. And I set the speed to four miles per hour to start out with just a walk to warm up. And then after four minutes, I changed to 6.5 miles per hour and start jogging. Then at 8 minutes, which is 4 minutes of jogging, slow back down, and you get a 2 minute break of walking, which looks like a jellyfish when I speed it up, I like look all floppy, but then you reach 10 minutes, and start jogging! I made this one funny looking, super fast. That's what the treadmill looks like. And then you slow back down again four more minutes. I didn't uh, record this, but it was at 14 minutes when you slow down. Got the jellyfish walk again. It's so funny looking to me. And then you reach 18 minutes, and I went one and a half miles. I actually meant for this to be a 20 minute workout, where there'd be a five minute warm up and five minute cool down with the same two four minute runs and two minute break in between. Now I am doing what I like to call the chicken. I thought this would help my abs, but I feel this more in my butt and legs. And then I'm switching to the pickaxe. I felt this one pretty strongly in my mid area on the side of your waist. <laughs> I don't know what to call that zone, but I did both sides like a good working out person. And then I just thought it'd be fun to stretch my back and hang off the thing by my back. Now I'm switching to weights. I did a thumbs up because I just switched the pin to make it the lightest of the weights, which is 35 pounds because my arms are very weak right now. You'll see as this goes along. I think I do like 10 kind of push-ups and then I try to do the other angle that the machine recommended, which is like a higher angle, but it hurts a lot. I ended up just doing micro push-ups. Oh no, about this. But I tried to keep my back straight and not to overstrain my neck. 
and then I try to go and do a second set and that's a no. These are pull down things. I also did this with 35 pounds, the lightest setting. And that's the workout. I hope this inspired you in some way. You probably don't have a gym that has the exact same equipment, but just figuring out what to use is kind of fun to do actually. And I felt like I had actually isolate my muscles with these machines, which was nice. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.